with adjustable handle. If you've ever had an experience of lifting big, heavy pots, the ones with trees, the ones with a lot of dirt, a lot of weight, um, say goodbye to that. <laughs> say, say goodbye and, to and, that and your back, back breaking and your knees back work. breaking. Yes. Yeah. This is $55. Five easy payments available here too. And look, I don't even want to guess what this weighs. I could tell it's a lot. Oh, it's and you're a lot. just gliding it around. Gliding along. This is our pot mover that's gonna hold up to 165 pounds. And what's really amazing is that it's gonna hold a pot anywhere from eight inches high to 30 inches high. So I am gliding around. This is a super heavy pot. You're gonna see this beautiful plant tomorrow with Roberta's, it's their hydrangeas. But I asked them if I could borrow it and it probably weighs about uh, 100 pounds. So, wow. you know, think of all those pots that we have that are made out of cement or that are super heavy. A lot of them come in plastic and vinyl now, but, <laughs> Uh, when you load it all up with the gravel and you load it up with the potting soil. So here's what it is. It is this ingenious little thing. Everybody think, thinks it looks like those golf caddies. When you <laughs> yes, can, with the golf the bags. The pull cart, yeah. And so it kind of does look like that. But what it does is it has this amazing handle right here. So this allows you to do a super low pot. Even It could be really heavy and big all the way up to a 30 inch pot. And so you're just squeezing this handle right here. And then this comes down and pokes inside the pot. And then you're able to scoop it up and lift it and move it. So we're probably getting close to moving our pots out of our house now. Right. Maybe that Meyer lemon tree or your hibiscus I have one plant. Of those. You do? <laughs> yeah. You really? I like it. So let me just show you how easy it is. So this is just a regular. Can you know, I try? Yes, I want you to. Yep. So imagine, let me just put it on the side so maybe, yeah, perfect. These wheels okay. are nice and big, by the way, too. I yeah. know we didn't really give so, that a lot of love. But. So if I just butt it up against to these two rubbery suction cups. And I clip it and in then place. And all the way down. Now it's totally secure. You pick it up and you can move the, the pot anywhere. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Now what you gave me a good idea because I know pots come in all shapes and sizes. Yes. So if I don't have a pot, you know, that happens to be this kind of shape, what was the other idea if you could this share with us? This is the one us? I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. I love this. I got this galvanized tub and what I did was I just popped it down on it. So this is about a 10 inch. I leaned it or a maybe, little bit closer. Maybe you have a whole bunch of smaller herb kind of pots uh, that yes. you're trying to move a whole bunch at once. Whole bunch at once. You could use this container as a way to move things. So I put in some potting soil. I could put many more bags in because I can hold up to 165 pounds while I'm wheeling it around. But what it is now is you're not breaking your back. And let I me think show I might get you. one of these and just have my husband wheel me around the house. He should. I don't have to walk anymore. Because we get tired when we're here. <laughs> so right behind you, this is the kind of thing we have. We might have some beautiful pot. You know, if it's this high, this is super heavy. This is their beautiful um, butterfly bush from Roberta's. Generally I speaking, can... there could be insects in there too. I don't yes. want to get that close Do you know what? to it. A lot of people don't like that part. They're like, ooh, mm -hmm. that's scary. Now I can pick this up and try to move it. What if the same plant is down on the ground. Now we're talking about getting down on the ground. I've got to get it, but even without the mover, if you didn't have the mover, how could I like ugh, try to get the leverage? It's back breaking. No. If I had this, then you, you just tilt just a little bit, tilt it a little bit, drag it on, clip and it. then clip it down, and then we're ready to just <laughs> put our foot on that and then move it all around. And it holds oh. up to 165 pounds. Yes. I can't carry that much. You know what? You could get in that little galvanized bucket <laughs> and I could wheel you around. Oh my Don't gosh. Don't joke with me. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> so the best part is, is that it's holding 165 pounds. Even though this galvanized tub probably weighs like 10 pounds, if I loaded in five bags of potting soil, right. that would become backbreaking. So I'm making the job One easy. Is, is backbreaking for me. Yes. It's, yes. You know, it's a lot. It's dead weight. It's an it's awkward shape. Dead weight. And as you were saying, and I want to show you on the side, look at the wheels. There's two wheels. They're super easy to They're drive thick. over your yard on the driveway, but what you're doing is you're allowing yourself to not hurt your back, your hips, or your knees, and I'm just stepping on it, 
and I'm able to move this ginormous. Oh, brilliant. This is probably about 125 pounds, 120 pounds. But look how easy it is because so I'm using easy. the leverage of this pot mover. And because the wheels are done right. Because sometimes yes. if something's too heavy, you start getting these like rickety wobbly wheels and it can't support the weight. Uh -huh. You have nice strong wheels here. Holds up to 165 pounds. It's $55 to get it home or you can do the five easy payments. The other thing I should mention because I've ordered one of these. The assembly was super easy. Super easy. I'm going to say under five minutes. It's a couple of Phillips head screws that you're putting in and then you're putting together that telescoping handle, which is really, really easy to yeah, do. Yeah, just here were some of the screws that I had to put. Exactly. I, I think there might have been something down at the bottom. That's but about it. We even give you this really kind of cool loop right here at the top. And the loop at the top allows you to hang it up in your garage. So right here, wait, where'd we go? <laughs> Oop, trying to go lower, uh, up higher, right here. So that loop is so heavy duty. You can hang it up in your garage, get it up off the ground, but what you're going to find is every spring and every fall, you're going to be able to move your pots you're gonna rely effortlessly. On this. Yes. I was telling you, we have a giant pot that probably weighs 80 pounds on its own. Wow. It's right to the it's right next to our garage, but it's right in the pathway of the snow plow that comes in the wintertime. Right. And so if I don't move it, the snow my snow removal guy is going to crash into it exactly. and break it. So now I can scoop it under, lean it back clip this You're down good to on go. it and I'm great to go. Well, yes. and, and that's what it is. We have these big pots because of the impact, but we don't want the back breaking work. And yes, five, five, that's it, that's it. <laughs> and 55665, six, six, five, five easy payments of $11 to get that home. Thank you so much, Susan. Oh my gosh, thank you, Kathy. So now it's time for something brand, brand new from Pam.